Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the present day quest, Fire and Sand. These guys are after me, and I need to take them down. Well they're definitely planning to kill me. You've been living in the mind of a trained assassin for the past however many hours, remember? So get ready to rock, killer queen. I'm ready, American woman. They're using bows, not guns. Why? Guess they don't consider you much of a threat. <laughs> They're almost on me. Going dark. Well, that guy's checking out the tomb. He's not looking behind him. Now, if these guys detect you, they just straight up kill you. How's it going? Bad. So don't get caught, unless you like dying. Oh no! Got him. That was close. A little too close. Is he looking this way? I can't tell. That guy up there I'm a little worried about. I can't tell if he's looking this way or the other way. I have to do this. It's them or me. I think he's looking this way. Hmm. Actually, he might be looking the other way. He's looking the other way. to this you work for Abstergo and I'm dead do me a favor and make sure Sophia Ricken hears it my dream was to work on the Animus project I waited 12 years waiting got me nowhere so I built an Animus that lets me access anyone's memories even ancestors not my own I even witnessed the origins of the assassins artifacts tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends I found them by killing me you've lost all this knowledge I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? Why did she? Oh, Habibdi, I should have listened to you. No more painkillers left. Well, that sucks. One bar. No, half a bar. All right, before we go back into the Animus. Hey, when did this Moogle show up? That's new. Well, more Final Fantasy invading. What else can I do? All right, so uh, before we get back into the Animus, we have some new notes. Bayek notes. Deja vu much? Cleopatra. Polished and perfect and so in control. I don't like her. I get why people were so enraptured with her. She's got enough presence to stop a charging hippo in its tracks. But I just don't like her. Maybe it's because she reminds me of Sophia. I was so stupid and trusting, and she just... Right, so... The past mirroring of real-life issues aside, what kind of bad guys call themselves the Order? Could you be any more obvious? Ugh. Though, I gotta wonder... I wonder if they're still around today. Note to self, look into this. 
Aya and Bayek. Yeah, I don't think reuniting with Aya is going to be as simple as Bayek thinks. They love each other, that's obvious, but there's way more going on here. The Feather Ritual. I remember reading about that. The weighing of the heart, Anubis, and the Duat. Bayek is collecting Sinu's feathers, trying to balance out his own sins. Research note, Altair means eagle. Wonder if it's related, or am I just reaching here? Okay then, last but not least, the four targets. I may not like Cleopatra, but damn, those rat bastards deserve what's coming to them. What they're doing, I mean, we're doing, or were doing, it was horrible. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what happens to them, in a ghoulish, historical study sort of way. Only I'm going to be living it. Yeah, definitely ghoulish. Good thing these notes of mine aren't part of any official Abstergo documentation. The shrinks would have a field day with them if I added, added them to my debriefs. I do not want to end up in a one-on-one -on -one with Otso Berg. Thank you very much. And we have keep going. All we wanted to do was try and help people, work on something useful, then D. I can't, I can't stop now. Gotta keep moving, keep doing something or else it'll be for nothing. I need to get to the end of this fast. Abstergo, Abstergo's catches, huh. Abstergo's catches me and it's one, lock me down for what I know, Two, wipe my brain and let me go, or three, kill me. I'm guessing one or three at this point. What I've learned so far is enough to start my own damned lab. No way are they letting me get away. I have to keep going, focus on what I have learned so far. Bayek still hasn't found whatever or whoever actually murdered his son. But he's dismantling the order. Good for him, they have it coming. Along the way, Bayek and Aya have been saving a lot of people. Some of them even want to come on to help fight off off that order. It's smart, means they were all working together, not apart. I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm seeing is close to the Brotherhood, but the Medjai were public figures. Not sure where it all ties in yet. I guess back then all you needed was a common cause and an eagle to get the word out and you could set up a revolution. Wish I had a... but no. Me? I'm on my own now, aren't I? D. Like all those other people in my gone files. D is dead. I'm going to keep digging. For D, I'm going to find out everything. Then we have Sapir Odd. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. The Empirical Truth, Keshesh Im Sesh Im Inib. Sure. And it's that uh, weird object thing I found in the tomb right before the hyena. Oh wait, there was a description at the top. Retransmission, segment three. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Okay, and that is everything. Let's get back into the animus. I should visit them. Aya's letter. Bayek. We have made an alliance with Pompeii, but news from Apollodorus is mixed. Those we've been tracking were not Hemu's killers. Bastards, yes. But there are two more names we must erase. The Scorpion and the Jackal are with Ptolemy's royal guard. I will join you in Heraklion as soon as Foxidas and I finish with our naval missions. I love you more than ever, Bayek. We did not choose this life. But fate opened the doors to the Order of Ancients, and we must spend our lives closing it. Aya. I've killed all these Nekatiadet. Apollodorus must be told. To Heraklion. Oh. Hey! Alright, and let's see. My targets are updated. No new targets, although she was just talking about two of them. They must fit right here. The crocodile, Berenike, is dead. Berenike was an elder Greek statesperson and member of the Order of Ancients, a subtle and highly intelligent woman. She cultivated a public image of graceful benevolence while secretly manipulating political and legislative processes to bring about her vision of an enlightened Egypt. Behind the scenes, she used Ptolemy soldiers and arena gladiators to enforce a web of ruthless oppression across the Fayum. 
We have new quests. Let's get those all selected so it goes away as new. We have new bows, the big game bow. Just like Pharaohs of old, you two can you two can hunt the large game of Kimmet. We've had that before. Desherat patrol bow, arc bow, Hyperion might be new. This gilded Greki Greasy? Grekian? Grekian bow is beautiful enough to delight the gods. Its sturdy construction allows the knocking of arrows at high speed. Five new melee weapons. Harp of Perseus, we've had that before. Motivational duet. Spade of all trades, the boredom bane. Have I had that? Nicely crafted by worshippers of Ta in Memphis. Needle, we've had that. And then we have new shields. Antigona shield, metal shield, two wooden shields, and a worn shield. Okay, nothing new to craft. We have an ability point. Still deciding what I want there. Inventory. We have Aya's letter, and that's it. Although I don't think I've seen these before. The Ibex horns. An ever-popular sculpting material. Hair and feathers. Hair and feathers lead the spirits of the dead through the Duat. Ibis beak. Symbol of the crescent moon used to represent Thoth in rituals. And I've seen the rest of that stuff. Ooh, got a lot of trinkets now. Probably pretty close to 100. Well, maybe not. That's probably about 60, 70? I'd have to count it. I think we're getting close-ish to being able to get that trophy, though. All right, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.